Well, you finally did it, son. Today's your very first day as the new champ. Here's your belt. Ah, uh, we got the champ's belt. Apparently that's not a real crystal star in it. Damn. Tell you what, I'm gonna go get ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you like to follow me, please? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we defeated Rockhawk and became champion of the Glitz Pits. But we've received the belt, and it's not the Crystal Star, so it looks like we still got some investigating to do. I forgot to do that introduction, I meant to do it when we were being walked along there more, and I kind of fucked it up, so... Congratulations again, Mr. Champion! From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as always, as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. So, do you remember something that Bandy Andy said many episodes ago? Yeah, 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 yeah! We finally made it, Gonzalez! But... You know, Rockhawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star. We still don't have any leads on that thing. I mean, where the heck could it be? Hang on, Gonzalez. You hear that? A voice is coming from somewhere. You think it's a ghost? Hey, hey! Do you have to have that thing turned up? That's getting me silly! There's actually a ghost in here? Okay, that is not cool. Ghosts are scary. But yeah, what Bandy Andy said many years ago, many years ago, many episodes ago, is that the bed in the uh, minor league locker room would restore your HP and FP, but it wouldn't, unlike the cushy bed in the champion's room, restore all of your star power. I still have no idea what happens if you don't complete Grubber's request on the Raw Gork and I don't know if he takes the victory away from you. Can we reserve a match from here? Oh, match reservation privileges for the Great Gonzales are currently suspended. What's this crazy talk, huh? Did X do this too? Yeah. I guess that's what happens usually when you're in an X little little moment and you try and access a fight normally. I've just never actually really tried, but I guess it doesn't let you do it anyway. I guess I was usually just more interested, look at this, by the X stuff than actually by the fighting most of the time. Using a bit of a super hammer. Let's smash our way into the ventilation system. <laughs> We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Yeah, <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition as always. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old body never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies around here for a little bit. First I let that King K idiot walk on me while I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did to them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice! It's Grubber! So he's behind all the missing fighters! I better lock this room up tight in a peanut butter jar to squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relating to that in the just desk drawer. There we go. You know what though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rockhawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. What a bastard. Let's break in and confront him! No, as he said, the room is locked up tighter than a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. Perhaps one of the greatest lines in the entire history of anything. I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. But first, let's loot the room for star pieces. There's one there, and there is one also in this desk drawer. But the other desk drawer has... Whoa, bingo! I bet that's the paper old grubber hid. Check it out, Mario. That, I think, is the first time Edgar's called us Mario. He almost always calls us Gonzalez. Yo, a machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints! I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but if I think the crystal star powers it. If this paper's right, the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh crud, you think the King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? Great galloping gulpits! How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too! Shut up! You make me sick! Why'd you drink King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Oh, Nelly, this ain't good. Oh, it looks like we're in hot pursuit. After him, Gonzalez! Let's roll! 
I said, let's roll. There we go. Well, that kind of sucked him towards me then. That was very weird. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Gonzalez, up there! That's the crystal star, right? <laughs> I like my machine. Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. Slurp. You darn tootin'. You know why? Because it keeps my bot forever young, son. You are such a scumbag. You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. I'll oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. <laughs> Muscle up. Macho Grubba! Yo, Grubba beefed up! Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy, too! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle! So long as I have this thing here mach machine, my body will be rough, tough, and ultra buff! Let's rock, Gonzalez! I'm ready to chew up this dude and spit him out! So, welcome to the real boss of the chapter, Macho Grubber. Turns out we're all cork and that whole thing was just a distraction. Grubber's the real bastard. Let's start off by shrinking the little bastard down to size. That's more like it. Now you're manageable. Unfortunately, I've opened with Edgar, which isn't the best move because I want to tackle him, so Goombell is going to come up first. Now, this is his little special move. More chances to attack are now available. He now gets two turns per turn. Which is extremely annoying. Someone's throwing a can. Get fucked, son. Oh, you notice the crowd's nearly full. We've got a full and we've got a crowd of 90, well, 95 now, which is really handy. Oh, I don't want to risk a really powerful attack while he's in the fog, so let's just give him this standard hammer to the face because it may miss. Fog can really cut both ways. Obviously, like, his attacks can miss as much as mine. But you know what can't miss? A good old tattle. That's Macho Grubber. He's Grubber all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Max HP is 60, attack is 4, and defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of crazy power-up-y moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The craziest thing about this muscle head is that he used to be a chubby grubber. And I guess the crystal stars really are powerful. So, first he'll buff himself in some way. Oh, he's made himself dodgy. And then he'll attack. Because he's getting two attacks per attack. So he's going to run and fly in! Oh, nice, I just completely guarded it. His attack's down, obviously, because we've shrunk him. Ah, oh, but now he's dodgy as well, and uh, the fog's gone, but even so, I don't feel comfortable letting off a powerful attack on him, because I don't want to risk missing. Oh, I hit him. That was nice. Oh, Goombella, what to do with you? Shall I swap you out? I'm going for a nice dodgy. I'll take, take advantage of this hand. Uh, I'll take advantage of the fact that he's dodgy to switch out to Flurry for now, I think. More than any other... Oh, up goes his defense, and then he attacks. More than any other partner, I think Flurry's fairly useful here just for her... High HP, first things first. Like if, you, if Mario starts hurting pretty hard, I'll throw Flurry in front. Oh, he's big again now. Let's bring him back down to size. A, A. There we go. Didn't do any damage because his defense is up, but did still tinyify him, which is what matters. His defense is high, so let's use Lip Lock, which pierces defense. Yeah, I think Flurry's the most useful for, like, the defense piercing capabilities... The ability just... She just deals a lot of damage, really, when she's quite durable when she's leveled up. She doesn't particularly special at anything, but she's, there's a lot of stuff she's not crap at. Oh, yeah, keep it spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, I ain't going to do much good in the end. Okay, attack's going up by three. That's not good. And then he's actually going to attack. Whoever this lands on is going to be relatively painful. That did three, even with a guard, and with a defense plus B. Oh, Boo! Oh, the Boo has made her invisible! That's handy. Another little crowd effect there. Do love the old crowd effect. Someone in... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oops, fuck, it must be worth it. I'd restore my flower powers entirely, but that would severely gimp. I'll just go for another body slam for now. This should do a good solid four damage, because Grubber, unless he's beefed it up, has no defense, which is quite nice. 
for Mario, I believe, like most bosses, he's not quite immune to clock out, but clock out has a very low chance of success in him, so I'm just going to go for the old power drive. Power drive, that's not at all what it's called. It's called Earth Tremor. Yeah, I guess I should talk about this point about the Boo thing. Of basically, pretty much every unique character, so like a Boo, a Koopa, a bob a Amazy daisy whatever, in the crowd can um, do a special thing that they do. The Boo's special thing is occasionally it'll make someone invisible. Much like the Shy Guy dropping stuff out the ceiling, it can affect you, it can affect your partner, it can affect your enemy, so he could have actually make Grubber invisible, which could have been extremely annoying, but fortunately for everyone involved, that did not happen. Let's body slam him again. He's about down to half HP now. As long as you're crafty and stay on your feet, Grubber tends to take damage at a fairly steady rate. Um, it's just... A base, but basically... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You just kind of got to keep up the attack on him. If you stop attacking for any reason and, like, pull back too much... Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this beers. But the battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rum-kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. That sounds very rapey. This is hilarious, because he should be getting huge there, but he's only got a little bit bigger because he's shrunk. When he goes back to normal size, he's going to look fucking terrifying, but that's not a real risk for now. Well, he's going to turn back at the end of this turn, but... Ooh, that did five to us each, and that's when he's tiny. That really hurts. Oh, good lord. Giant man. Um, right, let's body slam him again. Lip lock's good, but it is expensive. Uh, like, cost three flower points, and I'll only use it when I get really need the healing on Flurry, because she's going to take the brunt of his attacks now. He can technically attack either of us. But he tends to focus more on whoever's in front, generally. Let's... I used Shrink Stomp. Why did he not shrink? Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. He's boosted attack. Oh, I was only hit Flurry, fortunately. That was very nice. Uh, right, let's lip lock him. Yeah, basically, as long as you just keep... Uh, what, what I was meaning to say is just as long as you kind of keep up the offensive on him, you tend to be pretty alright with him. He doesn't do anything particularly weird. He just... He takes a lot of damage, and he gives a lot of damage, so he's just, you've really got to stay on top of him in that way. Let's see if I can shrink him again. There we go. You've got to really get the, basically you have to get both presses of A on the jump perfect there. Arr, I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in the combat sports, son. And let me tell you something, Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. I think his accent's got a little less silver and a bit rougher, but... It shouldn't do too much damage again. He's basically doing the equivalent of charge, though, which is quite nice. That did a lot of damage. Okay, what do I want to do here? If I just actually... Lip lock him first. Let those... And I know you exist in my comment section who doubt Madame Flurry see now how useful she's been in this fight. She's done as much damage as Mario, if not more. She is in the right situ situation. She may not be particularly unique, but sometimes she's just very useful. It's just... She's the Grubber of my team, basically. She can just give and take a lot of punishments. Grubber, very easy boss, I think, generally. No, how'd this happen? How could a perfect bond like mine lose to such a chub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Oh. Mr. Champion? No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Why, Miss Jolene? I really have to apologise, I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubber transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. And then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Ah, so our mysterious ex was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubber. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubber, I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. 
Ugh, Prince Mush, he, he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him disappear. Any which way you look at it, he ain't around these parts no more. No, I, I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. The poor dear really seemed aloof, but in fact, she just loved her brother so. Mario, darling, look there! The crystal star! Whoa, is this... am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I... I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay, it's all over, finally. Mercy me! So that's what the Crystal Star's capable of! Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. Truly, you don't mind if we take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, darling, you needn't hesitate. Take it! You got a crystal star! Your star power is now four, and Mario learned the extremely useful special move, Power Lift. End of chapter three! Glitzville's seemingly underside was a dark and dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubber's true identity and acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubber. Grubber had used the power of the Crystal Star to run his power-draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? 